So the final was just going at Ewood Park Rovers. Unfortunately, couldn't continue uh, their winning displays and could only muster a point against our old muckers from League One. Uh, Wigan Athletic, I think they'll be the happier after a nil-nil draw at Ewood Park in a game that uh, was a little bit rough around the, around the edges, if I'm completely honest with you. We didn't play our best. In fact, uh, we probably played one of our, our worst displays there. I think towards the last 15, 20 minutes, there was more chances, um, especially... Rovers probably had the best one with a Danny Grant of a header, which hit the woodwork. But uh, I think we could count ourselves a little bit lucky as well. I think Christian Walton was an absolute uh, uh, blessing today. Kept, uh, kept, kept Wigan out with two or three miraculous saves. And they were quite in quick succession, if I'm completely honest with you. So uh, without him, I think we could have we could have probably ended up losing this one. Um, but the yeah, so so the result is a bit of a massive Debbie Downer. Um, going into uh, Christmas Day and of course Boxing Day on the back of this, which is well, we were all we were all banking on this one being a three pointer, but a lot of people on Twitter and on social media they were they were all they had their psychic balls out and they knew Wigan were going to be party poopers in one way or the other. And, 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 if, and if honest with you, a lot of them predicted defeats today for Rovers just because just because it's Wigan, just because it's under the spotlight. Uh, but I think it's the third game in succession now. It's a draw between Wigan and, and, and Rovers, uh, both home and away. So. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not great. It's not great for Rovers. Um, but uh, the result is pretty shitty. But what's also also extra shitty is that Dak was actually substituted uh, with a bit of a knee injury, courtesy of our everybody's uh, at least the Championship and League One's favourite Egyptian, uh, Sam Morsi. What a character he is, isn't he? It's like a, a bit like Marmite, you know. It's like it's like the El Hajjuf of, of today. Obviously, nobody liked El Hajjuf unless he was on your team. But uh, Sam Sam Morsi's just the same. It's a dirty little bastard, isn't he? Uh, uh, bit of a nasty tackle on Travis early, which did get him a yellow card. It could have been uh, much much more than that. And then there was a little bit of afters as well uh, between the two two, two players. And then uh, he goes and gets himself involved with Dakarino. I don't know if there was much intent in that, but of course, when Sam Mossy's involved, you, you just can't rule it out. You can't rule it out. So I think he was happy with his performance, getting himself a yellow card again, and also eliminating uh, the best player on the pitch. There's no Nick Powell in this conversation, Bradley Dax. So Sam Mossy will be going home and it will be a, consider himself as a happy Christmas for him. Uh, as for Rovers and Mowbray, I think they're going to be a little bit pissed off with the end result of this one. Uh, so no goals to get excited about the team. Um, we went back a little bit, actually, uh, formation-wise. Well, not formation-wise. Yeah, it was formation-wise, because last time out it was the Bristol City without Dakarino, and we went with a more of a 4-4-2. But today it was back to the 4-2-3-1. Evans was back, and I thought he was, he was uh, one of the worst players on the pitch. Um, he also uh, left the field with an injury as well, so I doubt I'll see, we'll see him on Boxing Day when we take on... Uh, uh, is it Birmingham? Is it Birmingham City or Huddersfield? Uh, it's definitely at home. It's definitely at Ewood Park. It's not Huddersfield. It must be Birmingham um, on Boxing Day. So... Yeah, we've got to get back. We've got to bounce back with a vengeance on this one. We can't get stuck in a rut and start losing and drawing games on a frequent basis. If we are to be serious playoff contenders, we need to get back to winning ways. Um, so later on the channel, I'll do a detailed review on this, but also uh, in very, very quick succession, I'm going to be live with championship predictions the next round, including the Boxing Day matches. So if you're watching this now, get over there and, and get, get cracking and watch the old championship prediction live show. Um, I have that uh, coming up very, very soon. If not, it's probably already happened. Um, so yes, as for Wigan, they lack goals. They lack goals. They are in a bit of trouble, but I think they're going to be very much happy with an away away day point against one of their nearest and dearest uh, Blackburn Rovers. So we're going to be happy. Rovers will be a little bit pissed off, and ultimately, it was not a good performance. If, if we were to grade the performance right here, right now, on instant reaction, I'd say we were we were probably a four out of ten. And I think a lot of the, the credits and plaudits will go to Walton because without him and the defence and the defence, I think Lenahan was solid again. Nyambi decent. Downing is also very very creative. Um, I wasn't happy to see Williams in, in the back in the back four. He, he's he's a he's a steady pair of, pair of hands, but uh, obviously I don't know what what deal with with Tonson. Anabarayo if he's injured or what I don't know I didn't see the backstory to that I, don't, I didn't really follow it today I've been very very busy Christmas prep and all that kind of good stuff but ultimately yeah it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a come down from the weekend obviously the build-up started Friday keeping an eye on the other championship results and we thought I thought that this was a, this was our opportunity to get in the top six but that's gonna have to wait again uh, we'll, ha we'll get we'll have another crack at it and another home fixture Birmingham Boxing Day and hopefully with other games going on at the same time it won't be too much pressure and too much eyeballs on us and maybe we could just sneak in there uh, before the end of the day um so yeah stand by for, uh, for a detailed review on this give me your thoughts and means about the game did you watch it it was on front of the sky cameras 
Uh, this one will be easily forgotten because it was a pretty dour. Uh, but ultimately, hopefully Dakarino is back, back in shape for the Boxing Day. Uh, if I don't catch you in the detail review, have a very good Christmas and all that kind of good stuff. But I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. Until then, I'm going to let you get out of here. Make sure you bang the thumbs up and bang the subscribe. You bang up to do all things Black and Orange related, Championship related, World Football related, all here. And no one ruski. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.